Yeah, it looks dry. So I hope that laundry content was good. Um, yeah, fuck no, I don't know. Vlogging, you're just filming it. Fuck. So I thought the laundry was dry, but um, you know, in the morning when it can be quite cold, so it's quite hard to tell if the clothes are actually dry. So I spent a good minute trying to figure out, kind of touch them and feel if it was if it was dry and not just if it was wet or if it was just cold. I spent about a minute trying to figure it out. So I've taken the clothes in now and hopefully hopefully they're dry because <clears throat> that'd be a pain if I had to hang them back up again. Another tip as well for laundry. I don't know if many people do this, but when when you go out with your basket, do you take it back in when you come back in or do you just leave your basket out there? As long as it's not gonna rain, I don't see an issue with it. You just, cause it just seems ridiculous to, take your basket out and then bring it back in empty and then bring it back out empty again and then bring it back in full. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks about it like that, but. Does anyone else find smoothies? You're fucking freezing from them. You have to wear a jumper. It's summer and I got to wear a jumper because I'm so cold from the icy blueberries. <laughs> Update, laundry situation, some of the clothes. Still, still damp, so I'm gonna go hang them up again. Boy, where are we Yeah, so if you like the laundry content, let me know. I've got plenty more of it. Probably once every week, every couple of weeks I do it, so I can share more of that if that's what you're into, but just heading, just heading to Scott Champs now to go sit on the bank and, and watch some of the racing. Release the hounds. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over for a couple of races. Probably shouldn't drive and try and reverse at the same time, so hold on. Yeah, I've mainly just been uh, sitting at, at home inside for the past few weeks, so probably not a good idea to do too much today, so I'm just going to sit on the bank. Somebody I'm coaching as well is going to be racing there, so I kind of got the opportunity to go and watch and do a bit of supporting. But yeah, the home club as well, Clydesdale, some of my old, quite a few people I know racing there, so I'll probably catch one or two of the races and then, then head home. doing this every time I'm going to do a shot. <laughs> this is completely staged. I wasn't working. <laughs> oh, the road, eh? It's good to be back on the road. Driving to Aberdeen. <laughs> yep, so we're trying to catch the Aberdeen sign as we we're going in, but we missed it. So, um, welcome to Aberdeen! Here we go, the Granite City. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. 
<laughs> okay, so this is my first reaction of the baby bell. We definitely didn't open these already and try it. So this is for the first time. <laughs> Get a close-in of my mouth. Still no flavor yet. Very smooth. Yeah. I would say very, like, unopinionated. Like, um, like a Lib Dem. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Arrived in Aberdeen. Pauline's gonna do some studying. I'm gonna chop some vegetables. Uh, she's laughing in the background. And yeah, that's all there is.